CJ asks, how has having a family changed your long-term view of work? And what does retirement mean to you? CJ asked a good question. I'll let you go because uh, I know you're a new father of a second. Yeah, so what does family have to do with work? I think family is the ultimate cheat. And what I mean by that is I had a kid when I was 16. I've always had a family since I was an adult. My entire adult life I've had a family. And it gives you a reason to do all of this work. And that downtrodden feeling you can have, which is like, why am I doing this? Why am I working another night till three in the morning? When you have family, for me, it gives me my, my purpose. My reason for doing everything I do is my family. Part two, retirement. Retirement's my biggest fear. Retirement is what people do when they wait to die. Um, my grandmother was a tap dancer, and she had a tap dance school, and she taught tap every day of her life, and she taught tap on a Friday, and she died on a Monday when she was 92. That's my fantasy. I want to work until the last minute. I want to be working in my hospital bed as I'm dying. So that's how I feel about retirement. I'll start with retirement. I'm in, you know, in the complete same camp. You know, that is my nightmare. I want to die on Monday, on the Monday that I'm working. I didn't need those two days in between. I, you know, I, I, I'm with you. I think. You know, look, I will say this. There's one weird retirement fantasy I have, which is to be an old man sitting at the racetrack having some nickname like One-Eyed Gary and like betting on the ponies. I do like the notion of the ponies as an old man. So there's a little bit of that. Um, you know, the family work, work-life balance, whole thing, I think is completely counter-punching, meaning I hate giving an answer to this because I think it really is predicated on your partner and then the evolution of your kids. My partner part I really kind of took care of. I mean, I was looking for Lizzie. When I found her, I locked her up, married her immediately. We were married within the year of meeting. I told her on our first date that we were getting married. I knew that she was independent enough and could, I intuitively felt that she could handle the insanity that is me. It's crazy. I feel like we're still dating because you know I travel so much and like I'm busy, but like, it's just over communication. When I see a little strain, I'll cancel a trip. I won't say yes. I'll, you know, I try to hack. The kids are a whole new variable. You know, now that Misha's five and a half, I've got to get ready for. They may not be like Lizzie. You know, my, my little Xander might want me at every single thing at every moment. So I'm starting to get mentally prepared to counterpunch their reality. Kids are always going to want their parents around, um, but. But what's the hack, right? Like do I, like it's funny, I've been traveling and where I speak now, I I spoke in Anaheim and I noticed that Disneyland was right next door so I'm like, hmm, maybe I'll do these speaking engagements because I'll take the kids, let them see what dad does and then a full day. So it's interesting how my brain is starting to adjust to what's their reality gonna be like. So my answer to your question is counter punching. What I mean by that is gross over communicating. Having those conversations with your spouse or with your partner, having those conversations, maybe even at an early age with your children.